Okay, today I'm going to clean the boiler. Now I haven't cleaned the boiler yet um, since I started using it. So uh, the ash pan is pretty much full. Um, I scraped the burn pot once, but I was doing it when I was having a bunch of other problems. Um, and so I couldn't tell if that's what caused it, so I just left it alone. And actually, when I left it alone, the thing ran perfectly. So, I've never done this before, so this is a how to clean a boiler when you've never done it before. So, enjoy. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do for cleaning this boiler is take this, uh, this knob in here that you can see right there. Um, take that off and then swing this around. So I generally just pull it in like this, and you can spin it off. And then, this whole setup, let me close this. This whole setup will swing to the side. So, that is what the inside looks like. That's the burn pot there. And this ash, when all the pellets burn here, they, the auger will push more in, and then there's air holes here that blow the light ash up and away. So this is all really, apparently too heavy for it, but it crumples. Anyway, <clears throat> so I'm going to clean the burn pot, and maybe I'll try and find a light and show you inside there. But uh, first I need to find a bucket. Okay, <clears throat> so basically, ow, my head. Um, basically I just... Scrape the ash off of everything. I don't know. What else does cleaning the ash out mean? You know? Sorry the light is so terrible. Uh, looks like this uh, fly ash just accumulates on everything. So I'll just uh, clean it off. And you get to watch. How excited are you? Maybe I'll show you when I'm done. I'm certainly not going to do a super duper job on this right now. Because I'm not in the mood. <clears throat> i got to go to work, etc, etc. Um, so basically what I did is I let it run out of pellets. Um, and then it was nice and cool. So, <clears throat> so I guess I'm just going to scrape this stuff out. By the way, I'm using a plastic bucket. Which is not very smart, um, especially if there's hot ashes. But there aren't any hot ashes, so I'm not worried about it. And I like living on the edge, living dangerously. Use plastic bucket for ashes. Some guys skydive. I use plastic bucket for ashes. Crazy, huh? I get all the ladies. I really don't know what I'm talking about here. I'm just blabbing because I'm trying to make cleaning out ash interesting. How am I doing? Um, okay, so the reason we clean the burn pot is because of those things right there. This crusty stuff on the outside and over here, which you can't see. Um, so I'm basically just going to scrape it like this. Try and get it nice and clean. <clears throat> I might need my other hand, though. Yeah, see those things? That's where it collects right there. This stuff too. Although I can never tell if that's ash or if it's some type of a gasket. It's like styrofoam or something. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to make an ash cleaning video. Some people will probably get in here with a vacuum cleaner, etc., etc. There, see that? Those are all those holes I was talking about. Here. 
Yeah, I, so I haven't noticed too many clinkers, which everyone talks about. Um, pellets, apparently, after burning for a while, develop these metal clinkers in the bottom of the burn pot, which I don't know, I don't really see any. And I believe that's a function of, but sorry that I'm not able to talk and scrape at the same time. Scraping is apparently a very difficult process. Um, clinkers are metal deposits in the bottom of the burn pot, and there's metal in wood um, in the form of minerals, so that's why there's clinkers. Now, most people, they burn um, firewood. Man, I'm so slow at talking. You guys are like, get to the point, buddy. So, most people, when they burn firewood, burn hardwood because hardwood has more BTUs than it per pound. Well, when you make pellets, you eliminate the differences between... Oh, what I'm doing here? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm taking off this plate here, which underneath it has a bunch of ash and fines and fly ash, etc. etc. Um, so I'm taking that off. Um, so, when you burn... Oh, let me show you. Oh, this is going to be the worst video ever. Um, there's a bunch of fly ash in here that you got to pull out. This is where you really should have a shop back to get it clean. But... How am I able to do this without any light at all? I don't know. Uh, sorry. So, that right there is the igniter. Pretty fancy. I'm going to go get my shot back and stop being a, an idiot. So, when people burn wood, they burn hardwood, so you've got more BTUs than softwood. Fine. They do that because it lasts longer. It uh, lasts longer in the firebox, so you don't have to fill it as often, obviously. Um, man, you guys are like, well, oh, someday he's going to get to the point. Um, anyway, with pellets, it's not like that. You're taking the pellet, you're grinding it into a little thing that's the same size, whether it's hardwood or softwood. And so, softwood pellets are actually better to burn because... You don't... I'm going to remake this video. This is ridiculous. Nobody in their right mind would listen to this guy getting winded from walking up a ladder. Where the hell is my shop vac hose? And the head. It's upstairs. That's officially too much work. Okay. So, here's the deal. Hardwood pellets have lots of minerals in them because they're hardwood that's what makes hardwood so strong that's why we like building stuff with it and why we don't like nailing into it and hardwood has minerals and so they create the clinkers so i think that softwood pellets are better um the same btu out of each i think boy don't quote me on that i'm not sure if that's true but even if it's slightly less, it seems like cleaning it less would be more desirable. Um, so anyway, I'm just scraping the burn pot. I took all this stuff out of there. la dee da What does it matter if there's ash right here, really? I don't know. Who cares? <sighs> there. That's my cleaning. Eh, we'll put the plate back on, screw that back in, who cares. Uh, after I do this a couple more times, I'll make a, a better video that's like, hey, this is what I've learned. Um, this video is just like, what the hell am I doing? Alright, so there's a bunch of ash built up here, I'll push it down into the, the ash bucket bin pan thing. Okay, da, 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 da. again, a broom would help, a uh, shop vac, anything. This thing I've noticed gets pretty dirty, so it would probably be good to clean this. That's how you clean it. Take your middle finger and just rub it. There, this is professional stove cleaning by mygaragebuild.com. This is, this is just terrible. Okay. 
be surprised. You guys get a prize if you make it to the end of this video without skipping. Um, so there's a little plate here with a bunch of stuff on it. I have no idea what this plate does. It just, I found it just sitting in here. This would be a good time for anybody who owns one of these and knows what that plate does to tell me. Because um, I certainly don't know. Hey, I figured out what that little plate's for. You're supposed to put the plate in like this so that the ashes don't accumulate there. Duh. That's why I was cleaning the ashes out. So I looked at those those angles sit right in there. And then these little notches here fit right in there just like that. So the ashes will fall down there. Boy, those guys think of everything. So I guess I'll push the ashes in here. Maybe I'll title this How Not to Clean a Pellet Boiler. How to watch a guy fumble around cleaning a pellet boiler. Oh, Alright, I've been doing this all day. So yeah, there's a little lip here which makes pushing this ash in impossible. Ha! <laughs> ha! Okay. Close enough. Now there's this thing. So the ashes are pretty high up in there. So there, see? Ashes. That's what it looks like. Now you want to look for unburnt pellets. You also want to do this with two hands and not hold a camera. Um, so anyway, that's ash, that's the door, that's the burn pot. Clean stuff, it'll be better. The idea is that it'll burn more efficiently. Um, if I were smart, I would have pulled out these rods first to clean off the ash. Let's just assume that I did that before making the video. So now I'm going to go dump the ash, I'll fire the pellet boil up and get, go to work. Um, I, like I said, I would have taken more time with this if it weren't, you know, a weekday and that sort of thing. So. Thanks for making it all the way to the end. Um, I wish I actually had a prize for you. Um, uh, I'll show you my tractor. That's a prize. Look. Tractor. Put the chains on it. And I put my snowblower on it. And I am completely dreading snowblowing my driveway this winter because it's super long and I know what snowblowing is like. Now, I love plowing, but I made the decision to go with snow blowing this year, so we'll see how that goes. Maybe I'll make a video of how, uh, how it goes. So, anyway, thanks for watching again. And now we restart the boiler, which is pretty simple. You just go to this min temp knob, turn it to off, and then back on. And everything kicks on, just like that. That's only because I forgot to do that before. Alright. So I'm done in here. Um. Yeah.